Let's find the sample standard deviation of the following data by hand. We got 5, 7, 11. So 5, or 1, 5, 7, 11, I should say. First thing we want to do is we want to add these together. Those are considered our x values. So we got 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11. And that gives us some. Um, 24. Now, um, I ask you uh, in the steps to uh, find the sum, and all you would input there is you'd put 24 in. Now we need to find the mean, sample mean. So x, x bar is going to be equal to our x, sum of our x values divided by n. Well, we said. Uh, they add up to 24 and we got a total of four numbers so 24 divided by 4 is 6 and 6 is all you'd input in to the for that problem then we want to build a table we got 1 5 7 11 and we want to have a new column x minus x bar so we're going to take each x value and then we're going to subtract uh, this x bar here so we've got 1 minus 6 is equal to negative 5 we got 5 minus 6 is equal to negative 1. We got 7 minus 6 is 1. And 11 minus 6 is going to give us 5. Now when you input this into the computer, you're going to input it exactly like you see here, but no spaces. It's all together uh, with no spaces. We then want to have a new column, x minus x bar squared. I think I put a caret 2 there for it. And all I want you to do here is uh, the, put the ending amount. Like here, we got negative 5 squared, which gives us 25. So the only thing you'd put into the computer is the 25. Here we got negative 1 squared, which gives us 1, so 1 is the only thing you put in. And here we got 1 squared, and the only thing you put in is a 1. And here we got 5 squared. The only thing you put in is the 25. Then I'm going to have a box down here on the computer where I add these together. They add, add together to 52. Now our sample standard deviation is going to equal the square root of the sum of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. So we're going to have 52 divided by, and n is 4, we got 4 numbers, so we have 4 minus 1, or square root of 52 over 3, yeah, I should remember what that's equal to. Uh, 4.16. Rounded two decimal places. And this you have to input into the, the computer. Now, um, there's not a whole lot that I'll actually have you do by hand. If we can do it on the calculator, pretty much we do it by the calculator. But this is one one of the, the um, problems that I've heard from students coming back. They said that um, going on to other classes, they want to see all the work involved with finding the, the standard deviation. Now, um, population standard deviation would be very similar. I don't have a, a, homework, uh, pro a homework problem out there where you have to do build an entire table like this one. But instead of n minus 1, it would just be capital N down there. So instead of dividing by 3, we divide by 4. So that's the only difference.